Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So let's talk about masculinity. You might think this video would be just for men after hearing that word, but it's really not. It's for both men and women. It's good to cultivate the masculine. It's good to cultivate the masculine side of us. Now, that doesn't mean that we lose the feminine side because everybody has a feminine side. And for those Clint Eastwood type of motherfuckers out there, I hate to tell you, yes, you do have a feminine side. And, you know, we want to be able to have that. There's times that we want to be gentle and soft and so forth. But masculinity is an incredibly important quality. There seems to be kind of, I don't know if it's the social justice movement that's going on, but there seems to be this kind of prejudice against masculinity these days. And I'm not exactly sure where to point the finger of where it's coming from. I mean, I have my suspicions. But it seems like that there's... Uh, parents out there, weak beta male parents, weak women raising kids without fathers. There's all kinds of weak people raising kids and young people to be more feminine and less masculine as, as if masculinity is something to be frowned upon. Now, I'm not going to get into the whole politics of the thing. But we do see an entire generation now of millennials where there's 120 million of them and most of them seem to be depressed. Depression is running rampant in millennials. Twice as much in women as men. Women are twice as likely to be depressed than men are. According to studies, the reason why, it's simply because Women lack the masculinity needed in order, in order to have a certain level of strength through adversity. Now, this is biological. You can study this in mice. This goes back to the cavemen. Men have a certain ability to detach from emotions. And it's not just men, because we see masculinity in women as well. So you can have women that have masculine traits that are able to detach from emotion in the same way that men typically, not all men. I know some real feminine men out there. And I know some guys that are not necessarily feminine. They may come across as man, you know, he's a man's man. He's all, he's, he's all guy, you know, he's not gay in any way, but yet they still lack masculinity. It's good to cultivate it. We, we, don't, we may be born, say, for a man or even women. We're all born with this duality of a masculine and, and, and a feminine side, the, the yin and the yang. We all have it. But some of us spend more time cultivating it than others. And we have to get into what is masculinity. To me, masculinity is strength. I mean, we could just list a whole series of words, but let's just go through the basic idea. And to me, being masculine is strength. When we talk about masculinity, you're talking about whether it's a man or a woman, you're talking about somebody with a certain level of strength, mental and physical strength to them. Muscles. They can pick something up, they can carry the water, they can chop the wood. They can protect. They can hunt. They can withstand a certain level of trauma while everybody else freaks out. Masculinity is a certain level of power, leadership. These are some qualities that involve that are with masculinity. Now, I, in no way when I promote masculinity do I intend to badmouth or uh, femininity or to make it seem like it's not as important. It's absolutely important. And somebody with, without feminine qualities, even the most manly men without feminine qualities are going to have mental health issues, are going to have all kinds of depression and anxiety, and you're going to have problems. We have to be well balanced is the point. And there's a lot of imbalance out there because there seems to be a movement to take masculinity away from people, especially from men, from boys. Wag your finger, say, no, no, don't act like that. 
You have to be softer, you have to be gentler. Having big muscles isn't important. Being alpha is a negative quality. I mean, I've heard this. I'm not saying this to you. I'm, these are things that I'm relaying to you that, that lead to an emasculated society. The reason why I'm talking about this is because I like to talk about depression and how we beat depression. And we found that people that lack masculine qualities have a, a, a greater susceptibility to depression. If you're depressed and you don't really know why, maybe you know why and you just don't know why it's so heavy. You don't know why it's lasting so long. Why am I attached to my emotions so much over this issue where maybe I don't even know what the issue is. I'm just feeling gloom, doom and gloom and down, weak, tired. It's because you're not cultivating the masculine. You're not building up that masculine side. You're not working on being stronger mentally and physically. You're not working on leadership skills. You're not working with a, a kind of a, a, a fierce discipline towards um, being driven in life, being goal oriented, attacking your survival instead of letting it hit you like waves, like some kind of weakling, disabled ship. You're, you're barreling through those waves after wave after wave, like on a speedboat. You're ready for what life has. These are masculine traits, and these are the things that you want to cultivate. As you cultivate these types of things, as you cultivate your masculinity, you grow it like a plant as it becomes a tree. It doesn't mean to be toxic. Masculine is a social justice term for douchebags that people don't like, and we all know what it's you like to be around some overly macho douchebag. That's all just a game. Guys know that shit is just a game. We laugh at it when we see people like that. Women get really offended by it. That's where that term toxic masculinity came from. I guarantee you a guy didn't create that term. <laughs> but it's a real thing. And you don't have to uh, worry about falling into it if you're cultivating masculinity. What it means you're you're trying to be more of a balanced person. If you are depressed... There may be good reasons for you to be depressed, but a masculine person, somebody who has got a well-balanced sense of masculinity, and they work on that, they cultivate that. They're trying to be masculine and be strong, to be real men, or if you're a woman, to be able to cultivate your masculine side so you're not just in your feminine side. They have a less, uh, less of a chance of even becoming depressed to begin with because those waves of events, those bad times, those bad days, those trying events, those trying times that we go through that can send us and trigger us, they don't affect them as much. They're slightly detached from their emotions, and that doesn't mean that they're robots. That doesn't mean they're not tr truly experiencing shit. They're not, not getting lost in it like somebody who is overly feminine. Being overly feminine is not going to serve you in your survival. It's not going to help you navigate this world of mental health. Anxiety and depression, panic attacks, PTSD, triggers, all these things, if we're dealing with this, I deal with this shit, you wanna start looking at some of your just core personality traits. Am I masculine enough? Should I be working on my masculinity? Maybe I'm too feminine. Maybe I've been neglecting certain avenues of masculinity that I could focus more on that would strengthen me physically, mentally, keep me out of the doctor's office, keep me off of the psychologist's couch, psychiatrist's couch, keep me from isolating in my bedroom, sleeping for weeks on end, keep me from slipping back into an addiction to solve my depression. These are things, you know, to keep you from depression. So 
This is all easily able for you to fact check. You can look into it yourself. Just Google masculinity and depression and see what kind of articles come up. It's a very interesting topic. I think that we need to stop training our little boys, especially to be less masculine. We need to stop train, training them to be more feminine. We need to stop looking at masculinity as negative. Stop using terms like toxic masculinity. That's an arbitrary uh, metric that is going to be different for somebody who's incredibly sensitive or somebody who's overly feminine to uh, compared to somebody who's who's not so sensitive or feminine. That toxic masculinity thing is just fucking code words for social justice bullshit. Let's promote masculinity. And the reason why, you say, well, why are we promoting masculinity so heavily? So we can be less depressed as a society, as people. We all go through it. It's just food for thought. Thanks for watching.